What's up guys, my name is Eric from Academia Medix Brazil and this is going to be the very first English video in this channel. I just realized that many many people come uh, from overseas to watch my videos, they turn on the English subtitles, I know they're not really that good, so that's why I'm starting to create English content for you guys. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, and, uh, and I hope you learn a lot from this channel from me. And we're going to start to create and learn a very simple application with the basics, and I know the basics, we can start from the basics, we can learn a lot from the basics, great. Um, but before we continue, before you go for the real thing, I ask you to subscribe so you won't lose anything new from this channel and also give a like to this video so we can spread, we can share this video with more people that might be beneficial to them. So please give a like. All right, so let me just stop talking and actually talk more about what we're going to do. Let's go. Great. Uh, we are going to do a approval app. We are going to actually develop an approval app. It's going to be pretty simple, but as I said before, we're going to learn a lot with this app, the basics of a Mendix application. So those are the stories we're going to tackle. So basically, as an admin, I want to create new products, create new users or edit new users. Uh, and also create and edit new customers. So, in a domain, we'll have three main tasks in the application. New products, new users, and new customers. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but trust me, you are going to learn a lot. Um, more to stories, as a sales officer, I want to create new prices for the products and their respective customers. So, you're going to pretty much create quotations, right, for those products, and uh, those quotations, they need to be either approved or rejected by the account manager. So there will be a lot of uh, things to do here, a lot of reports, pages. You can see like different roles here, like admin, sales officer and account manager. So we have three roles here. It's kind of a complex application, despite being pretty small, simple, but it's kind of a complex. Uh, and again, you're going to learn a lot with this. So let's get started. Let's create our app. Awesome. We are using here Mendix 10.8, one of the latest versions of Mendix. If you're using a newer version of Mendix, that's fine. Uh, you can freely follow this uh, tutorial, this uh, playlist, and, and you're going to do things just like we're doing here. That's fine. Um, first, let's create a new app. Let's click here, create new app and uh, we can select this template right here which is the blank web app awesome and let's click here use this starting point we click it and we're going to give a name to this app which, which is going to be approval app uh, let's make this yes because we're going to store our application into the uh, main texting server English is going to be the language and the app directory you don't need to change. Let's go to create app. And right now we are going to download the template, create our app and upload this app like the very first commit of the app to the Mendix team server. It might take a while, it might take a few seconds or minutes depending on your laptop, of course, or desktop. So let's just wait. Our app was just created. Uh, we can even start playing things here like uh, clicking on that green arrow button, but we're not going to do this right now. As I said, we have five stories and we need those stories in our board of stories, so we can really work on them just like a real project. Let's go then see the Excel file with the stories, which is this file right here. No worries, this file you can download in the description. I added a link there so you can download and you can open in your computer. Um, and what we're going to do here, we need to import this file into our board of stories. So let's go to the Mendix printer, the Mendix portal, and let's create our first epic. Great, from the uh, Mendix portal, you're going to click on approval app. It's going to show you uh, the buzz of your app. And here on the left side, let's click epics. And once we open this page and let's go to the top right, create epic. But what is an epic? An epic is a, a collection of stories. It's just like a really big story, uh, so big that we cannot just like have that big story. We can split 
that big story which is an epic and stories so that's why it's an epic uh, let's create the epic name approval app we can add a go here a objective like develop and approval app for learning purposes right we can assign this uh, epic to yourself in this case for me and let's just create this save epic awesome and we have our first epic let's copy this text right here app dash app dash one and let's go to the excel file because here in this column we have to paste that epic id so when we import this excel file you're going to automatically assign those stories to that app so let's click one by one here each one of those cells place it here and there we go we have the complete file let's close this file and let's go back to the medix portal and uh once we are back we're going to planning let's here on the top right click on those uh, three buttons import stories let's browse and find our file yeah user stories great continue there we go we have our five stories continue there we go import finished and here are our five stories let's select one on one one by one actually and here down below uh, we are going to select here next next sprint we just move then to the next sprint awesome and what are we going to do three dots start sprint we're going to start our first sprint with uh, those five stops the first sprint is going to be called i don't know app development it could be anything and uh, sprint go same thing app development start sprint and there we go we have our five stories in our board and we're going to start with this one as an admin i want to create new products let's just drag and drop there we go we have one story in progress let's go to studio pro let's go back to studio pro because that's where the magic happens let's go great we are at the studio pro and let's have a look at our stories let's go here in stories and uh, if you don't see this panel just go here view click here stories and this panel here will be displayed and let's just click on refresh there we go we have our five stars and the first one of them is running which is this one uh, where you're going to create new products right let's start creating products well first we need to know that we need records we need data and to create data to create the structure of data we need to make use of our domain model which is this element right here. Here we have the first two modules of our application and I'm going to explain about modules uh, in the next videos, but, but just keep in your mind, each one of those modules that we have in our applications, they have their own domain module. And the domain model, we can create the data structure of our apps, right? So let's just click on this comment here and delete it. We don't need it. And we're going to add to our domain model what we call entities. So entities, we can just click here in this tiny little button called entity, drag and drop and click it here. So what is an entity? It's like the model of our data. So let's say we're going to create a product. We need to create product records in our application. We need to create an entity for the product and we have to give the product attributes, which gives properties which gives data to our product double click the entity let's call it product and down below we are going to create two attributes first one is going to be name and and this is going to be string we actually can create different types of attributes auto number boolean date decimal number integer number or string we're going to select string right Second one is going to be description. And in this case, I would just make a string and unlimited, which means I don't have a limitation, right? Uh, in this case, for the name, we have a limitation of 200 uh, characters, but for the description, we don't have a limitation. So I can write like all the books of the world here in this attribute. Um, 
and uh, there would be no problem. Let's just click here, OK, and OK, and we have our first entity, which is this entity is going to represent the product records of our application, right? Clear? Great. Now let's create a page where we can create those products, right? So here on the left side, in this module, I will even rename this. Let's click here, let's tap, let's hit actually here F2, and we can rename the module. Let's give the name Approval App, hit Enter, and we just rename it the module name. And you'll see that we have a few elements here. This one, as we saw before, is a page. And this one is an image collection. We can upload images here. And this one is a microflow. Trust me, microflows are going to be the, I would say the thing that you're most going to do create in your Mendix career. Trust me, microflows. But we're not going to do microflows right now. What I'm going to do here, I want to organize this module here a little bit. I will create two folders here. Right click on the module. Add folder. Uh, first one is going to be called UI, and the second one is going to be called objects. So everything related to UI, to the user interface, I will drop here. So the page and the image collection and the microflow, I'm going to drag and drop here. All right, so I will have a more organized application. Second, uh, I like also to split inside the UI pages, for example, that are related to the product, I want them inside a product folder. So right click the folder, add folder, name product. And inside this folder, I'm going to create the page to create products. So right click the folder, add page. And here on the top, you can select the type of page you want, could be for a tablet, a smartphone or a native mobile in this case just keep responsive here the name of the page is going to be product overview navigation layout just keep this one this is like the model of the page on the left side let's click here blank select blank and hit ok we just created our very first page inside this container we need to add what we call data containers those data containers are widgets where we can just display data, right? Um, and we can find them here on this right panel. We go to toolbar and we have here widgets. And here inside this option, we have all the available data containers. And the one I want to use is the data grid. So let's click, drag and drop here. And that's it. It's pretty much like a table, right? Uh, where we can just show one by one all of the records of our application and you see that we have an error here which means we need a data source for this data grid so double click the data grid go to data source tab and we, you can just keep select a database let's select the entity which is the entity we just created product select we click OK. Um, and here he's asking if you want to fill the contents of the data grid let's hit yes and you see that for this data grid, we just added the column name and description. Awesome. And you see that we have two buttons here with errors, which means we need pages to either create and edit products, right? So let's right click here and we can automatically generate page. And we can just select, for instance, this one form vertical navigation layout. Let's select pop up, which is a a tiny window that floats uh, in the middle of the, the, the page, right? Uh, and the name is correct. It's like product underscore new edit. Let's click OK. And you see that the, the, the page was created in the right folder and the errors are gone. Let's just save everything. You can go to file and click here, save all, or you can just use Control Shift S in your keyboard. And well, apparently everything is OK. You can also switch to the design mode, which shows you how this page is going to look like in your browser, and you'll see the page is going to look very much like this. Well, we're done. Let's run the application. Let's see how the page behaves. And to run, you can go to this tiny green button right here, run locally. You just click it here, 
and the application is going to run. So just wait for everything. Uh, the first run takes a while, but at the end, we can just see how the page looks, how the application looks in the browser. All right, our app just run it. There it says your app is running and to see your app, all you gotta do is just click this button right here, view app. Once we click on that button, is it going to show you the page? Well, but where is our page? The page is not here. We forgot to add the page to the navigation of our application. Let's go back to the Studio Pro. And here on the left side, if you expand this option right here, app approval app, you're going to see a few options here, a few tabs here and double click at the navigation. And this is the navigation of our app. You see the home here, just like we saw in the app running the browser. Click here, new item, and the caption you can add like products. This is going to be the name of the option, the menu option. Icon, let's select the airplane. This is fine. And the on click action, that's where, the, that's what happens if you click in the option of that menu. You can show a page, you can call microflow, a nanoflow, open a link, whatever. In this case, of course, we're going to show a page and the page that we created right here in this path, right? Let's select, let's click OK. And there we go, our page is there. Let's save it, Control S, and let's run again. Great, and once we run again, we can open the app again, we can expand here the menu, and we see the option products. We click it, and we see the page you just created. Great, let's create a new product by clicking here, new. And yeah, we can give a name to the product. Let's say, let's create our first product. You can add any product you want. I would add here, Xbox Series X and description Microsoft Next Gen Console, right? And I'm going to I'm not going to do a flame war here. Let's just create a new product and let's call it PlayStation 5 Sony Next Gen Console and another one. Nintendo Switch uh, description, Nintendo latest video game, right? Save it, and there you go, we have three new products, great, we created three records. And that's it, that's the go of this video, to show you the initial steps of a Mendix application and how we can create that, this approval. There will be more to come. There are more to come in the next videos. Stay tuned because every week I'm going to create new videos so you can learn, you can follow, you can easily follow, you can uh, ask me questions in the comments. So make sure you learn everything through this process. Well, guys, this was today's video. I hope you like it. Comments and doubts, questions in the comments. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye.